What's going on guys, Sean Gutierre back with another video. You can see my man is very grown out, got a nice texture going on. So we're gonna try to work with this texture, put a fade underneath, nice curly textured top. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get right to it. Alright guys, we're gonna jump right into this haircut. I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as possible. We got the hair nice and saturated. Now we're just gonna comb from the crown to the recession, or basically guys, the cowlick in the back, up to the corner of the hairline. Now we're gonna go in and create basically a perimeter, guys, just using a guide, just like you would on top. We're just gonna cut a guide, we're gonna follow it all the way around the head. This is called block graduation. And basically we're just creating a shelf for the top to sit on. So we're gonna decide where we want this. We're gonna work our way all the way around the head, creating this shelf, as you guys can see. That'll give the top something to lay on and give us a perfect spot for our fade to go in underneath. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side. We will continue our perimeter all the way around from that side of the head, matching on this side, giving ourselves a nice perimeter all the way around. Then we can cut the top before we come in and do our fade. Now on top guys, we're gonna do a nice even trim. We're just gonna cut it straight across. We don't have to add a lot of texture because he naturally has some texture. So we'll do a nice even trim on top, style it up and then we can move on to the fade. Now one very important tip for you guys when you're doing the top first, we wanna make sure that the hair is dry so that when we come in with our clipper work on the sides, we can blend right in. That's really the whole point of doing all that. So now we will use the Dyson blow dryer with the diffuser. We're just gonna use it almost like a curl sponge. You're gonna see me use my hand as well to scrunch the hair up. And we're just trying to bring that natural texture back out and get the hair dry so we can use our clippers and blend right into the top. So we're just gonna work our way through it until the hair is nice and dry and we can bring that curl back and then we'll start our fade steps. For our first step, we're gonna go ahead and clear all the bulk on the sides. So this is a number four closed. We're just gonna clean the sides up and you guys see I'm letting that clipper slowly feed into the top and blend right in, like I said, making our job nice and easy. We'll just blend right in and then we can come in and start our bald line and all of our fade underneath. All right, now we're gonna start off with our bald guideline. If this is your first time watching me guys, I like to use a trimmer that is not very sharp to punch in the bald guideline. Then we'll actually bald out underneath that with a sharper trimmer and our shaver. That's gonna make it easier for us to take this bald guideline out. So we're gonna work in the same shape as the weight that we created in the beginning or the perimeter that we created when we did our block graduation. Set our bald line, we'll go ahead and bald all this out, come in with the shaver, get it down the skin, and then we can start working our way up. All right, for our next step, we're gonna use the clipper with the lever all the way open. We'll go up about three quarters of an inch following the same guidelines. You guys wanna be very precise here. Every guideline should be consistent, same width, following the same shape of the haircut that we have started. That's very important, guys. When we get off of that shape, that's when we start to see our haircut just look all over the place and it's really hard to get back after that. So consistent guideline, three quarters of an inch. Then we'll start to take the line out from the bottom. Now because we punched the guideline in with the slim lines, our first step will be to scoop that line up. So we're just gonna barely bump this line up, making sure that we take out that hard line that we punched in. 
Next up, we're gonna come in with the clipper all the way closed and we're just gonna continue to work that line up, guys. So we did the trimmer at the bottom, scooping up, then the clipper closed. After we do the clipper closed, we will come in with it halfway open and that should make this section nice and smooth, a nice transition up to our open clipper. If you guys have any spots that you need to get out, start with your lever all the way open, go after that spot with the corner of your clipper and if it doesn't come out, you can start to close up the clipper until you're happy with the blend. After we're done with that section, we will start with the one guard all the way open with another guideline about three quarters of an inch. And again, guys, we're following the same exact shape from front to back, work your guideline in, and then we'll start to work that line out from the bottom. Now we're gonna come in with the one guard all the way closed and we're gonna go two thirds of the way up into this section. At the end, guys, we will use the half guard at the bottom of this section. So make sure that you use the one guard closed and you work your way up a little bit. If we stay on that line, we will not get this to blend out. We wanna go almost up to where we did the one open with the one closed. Now that very bottom line that we have left will come out with our half guard. I like to use it halfway open, guys. If that doesn't get it, you can close it up. That should get the rest of this line out. These two panels will be connected. Then we can move on to what's left above. Now remember we started with a number four guard, so this is a number three. We're gonna blend right into the four. We're just gonna fade our way down, guys, and connect this whole fade together. Now we're down to the number two, and guys, all these big guards, I use closed. I don't have to use them open and closed. They're close enough together, and the shade of the hair is dark. We're just gonna use them closed and make sure that we are flicking out and blending into the length above. And as you guys can see with the two closed, all we have left is a subtle line between the one open and the two closed, and that will come out with the one and a half. Now, just like the half guard, the one and a half is our magic eraser to come through and take this last line out. I am gonna use it halfway open, and if that doesn't get it, I'll close it up and get the rest of the dark lines out. Then we can continue to work our way down and polish the rest of this fade up. Now that we've worked through all of our steps, we're just gonna work our way back down through these guards and polish this side until we're happy with it. So we're at the one open now, then we can close it and we'll just use the guards as needed until we're happy with this side. So one open, one closed, back to the half guard, back to no guard, all the way down to a trimmer if we need to. We're just gonna perfect this side before we move on, then we can line it up. I'm gonna go ahead and come in now with my skeletons and do a nice sharp C cup. Guys, we're not gonna enhance this cut. It's not gonna be overly lined up. It is a younger kid, so we're just gonna give him a nice C cup, and then I'm gonna see some of this darkness at the bottom of the fade here, and we will come back in and clean up the rest of that before we move on to the other side. All right, now we're gonna move on to the other side, guys. Same steps as before. If you need to follow along with the color guide, it is in the bottom corner down below. I wanna to touch on something real quick, guys. I'm gonna be real transparent with you guys for a minute. I really just got out of one of the worst winters that I've been in, guys. I really realized this year that seasonal depression is a real thing. Guys, I'm usually on top of my stuff. I'm usually pretty positive. Got a lot of good going on for me, but I'll tell you guys, it's been a rough winter. Having COVID going on, all the complications from all of that. Pretty ugly cold winter, no traveling, no trips, no barber shows. Uh, just kind of got got to me, guys. So I'll be honest, I tried some medication, something I've never done before. I didn't really like how that was doing. Um, I just just kind of was in a funk. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'm being transparent with you guys. Something I normally wouldn't want to talk about. Uh, but I want you guys to know that it, it does happen to the best of us. And, uh, you know, you guys aren't alone if some of you guys are going through that. Hopefully this spring weather is helping you guys. I definitely came home from Tampa. I went to Tampa for that trip. It was warm. I got to see my friends. I came home and it was warm again. And I'm definitely coming out of that, guys. But I wanted to touch on that. That's something I've never dealt with. I want you guys to know you're not alone if you're feeling like that. Hopefully this weather is helping you out. And spring coming around, I think it is kind of lifting everybody's spirits. But... If you guys are ever having trouble and need a little pick me up, just reach out to me. I really do my best to answer all the DMs and all the messages. And uh, I don't want anybody to feel like they're going at it alone. And guys, even me, I feel like that sometimes. And that was part of what was so tough this year. And uh, you know, I got a shop full of guys I work with. I'm married, all of that. But that doesn't mean sometimes you can still feel that way. So I know this is not normally what the channel is about, but just coming through this, guys, 
realizing how serious it is, I just wanted to talk about it for a second. Uh, it's something a lot of people don't like to talk about, and I just had a rough time going through it. So, doing better now. I appreciate all you guys, all the feedback on the channel. It is something that keeps me going and keeps me positive. Uh, so, I appreciate you guys so much. I love doing this for you guys. It is something that that uh, keeps me together. So, anyway, guys, we're finishing up this side, working our way back through the guards. We're on the two guard now. We'll use our one and a half to polish all this out, line this side up. We'll put some product in the top, and you guys can check out the finished product. Now I see a couple dark spots here I don't really like, so I am gonna come in with my thinning shears, do a little thinning shears over comb just to take that out. And now we're done. So you guys can see the before here, super crazy, super grown out. I think he's about three or four months without a haircut. And there you go guys, finished product, kind of a drop fade, mid fade, curls on top that is a natural texture on top. Man, do I wish that I had that texture on top. But I hope you guys like this video. Please, please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think. Smash that like button if you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Guys, we are almost to 22,000 and next up is 25,000. At 25K, guys, I'm gonna do some type of a giveaway. So make sure you guys get in on that. Hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I'll catch you guys next time.